What is up, everybody? It's your commissioner here with the week two wrap-up in the League of Collusion. We're going to jump right into it. A lot of injuries happen. Some big injuries happen. We're going to jump right into highest score of the week. Dirty Mike and the boys went from 10th place in the power rankings. Now he's the highest score of the week. He's a little angry that I put him 10th. He's showing up. He's going to jump some... Uh, He's jumping some people this week. You'll see him maybe in the uh, in the top top six, top seven. He's gonna climb. Low score of the week. Myself with eighty seven. Tough week. Uh, play of the week. Team Phil Zotto. He loved this play of the week. Told me about three times to to put it on the wrap up. Nico Collins for the Texans. Nico scored twenty three and a half points. That was a big play of the week. Bad play of the week. Myself, not playing DeAndre Swift. DeAndre uh, Calvert told me about three snaps in that uh, Gainwell was uh, was out. And uh, DeAndre Swift went on for uh, 24 and a half points on my bench. And I lost by three points to Doc Helton. So, going into it, I'll jump right in. This will be a short one today. Power rankings, okay? We're going to jump right into the power rankings. We're going to start from the bottom. From the bottom. Starting at 0-2. He's three spots down from the week before. He was seventh the week before. Is Burrow in these TDs. Could make a comeback with his team. His team's... I could see his team making a comeback if they all click on the same cylinders. Um, losing Aaron Rodgers with having Garrett Wilson there. It's a little bit of a mishap there. But I could see him making a comeback. So don't count him out yet, yet folks. In ninth, the playoff buster himself... He's ready to trade his whole team. Told me on Sunday, he said, I'm just going to trade it all. So if you want to trade, Playoff Buster's open to any trade right now. He just wants a new team. He's tired of having Lamar. He's just tired of having that team. And then seventh, or in eighth, sorry, in eighth. This is a shocker. It's tough to see it. With Nick Chubb snapping his leg in half. Team Phil's auto. I just don't see it surviving. Just lost its bell cow. He's, he had that running back duo going. Not anymore. Team Phil's auto in eighth place. I'm sorry, Phil's auto. No repeat for you. In seventh, mixing up my cup. Saquon's out. Going to hurt him. So uh, he's going to be down for a little bit. Um, we'll see what he gets on the waiver wire. See how he can, can perform there. And in six, the man, the myth, the legend, Dirty Mike and the boys. Um, his tight end duo. Is really strong with his flex and his tight end, but I just don't see any other wow factor in this team. So, could shock me. We'll see what happens. Week three here coming along. Dirty Mike and the boys are 2-0. and um, So, they're climbing. They're up four spots from the week before. And then fifth is Team Doc Helton. He's 2-0. Uh, and He's up one spot from the week before. He's got C-Mac and Tyreek. I mean, when you got those two, you're gifted about 40 points no matter what. And that was uh, every week. So he's gifted about 35, 40 points no matter what. And then fourth at 0 2 is myself. Yeah, I get it. I'm 0 2. But I have a lot of points against and a decent amount of points for. That's where it gets situated there. And then in third, Gino, Team Gino, his wide receiver trio. I didn't mean to rhyme there, but I just rhymed is uh, getting after it, and I think he's going to climb the rankings. He's 1-1 one one right now, but Team Gino with his wide receiver trio is in third. And then second, Team Bud Light. Good, consistent scoring. Um, he's 2-0. and oh. He's up two spots from the week before. I see him staying up in the top five for a while. So Team Bud Light, 2-0. and oh. Scored 112 this week. Got Josh Allen clicking on all cylinders. Got the James, the James Cook and the Josh Allen combo going, which is could be killer. And then first, I don't see him moving very much. His team's pretty good. Had Eckler out last week, and he still scored 98 and a half. Um, outscored almost over half the half the league. And took a loss. So he's got a lot of points for and a lot of points against. He's 1-1. One one. Team Calvert is uh, wrapping us up at the top. I don't see him moving. He's got that. He's got Eckler. He's got other, some other combos there. But that is your week two wrap-up. From your commissioner, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, come at me.
See you next week.